Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on the sensor blur effect in Avid Studio. Let's get into it. This is a great effect for blurring out those ugly people who you decide not to put in your scene, or maybe an ex-girlfriend who you didn't want your new girlfriend to see, or maybe even just some old crazy ugly fool who got in your video who didn't give you permission to use them in your video. Blur them out, get them out. They're out of here. First thing you need to do is get your clip into the timeline. So you see I got a video clip and I also got a picture here. Now, there's two different ways to do it. I'm going to show you both ways. So be happy about that, all right? First and foremost, go ahead and put your scrubber to somewhere on the first video clip. Click on the track above it over to the left. So you activate this track and click on text or title. It's going to bring up a title. First thing you need to do is hit the backspace button, get that text out of there. Now you'll see that there are, if you didn't notice before, there's a little shapes icon here. It's a shape tool. If you click on it, it gives you a bunch of shapes to use. You could use a circle, a square, a rectangle, whatever you, whatever shape you want to blur out whatever. So I'm going to add a circle for this guy's big head. Next, I'm going to go to face. I'm going to move my blur all the way up to 100 because I want a blur going on around the outside perimeter of the circle. I'm going to click on fill. I'm going to click on the color tool or the color picker and I'm just going to click on black because I want black. I'm going to click apply. I'm good to go, people. So I click OK. Out of there. Now, I need to stretch this out, of course, to the same size is my video clip so I stretch that out left click on it and stretch it all the way out now if you look at this you'll see well it's a black dot but it's right in the middle of the screen what the heck am I supposed to do with that stupid thing well you're supposed to move the stupid thing where you want the stupid black dot to go so right click on the title and go to open effects editor once you're there you want to go to 2d 3d and you want to go over to, you know that wasn't right, boy. You want to go over to Studio PIP. Now, you don't see anything. Why? Because it's just a black dot on the screen. So you got to click on the solo mode, change it to show media and tracks below. Now you see it it's like a little Indian woman with a dot on her head. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and change it from default to no preset. It'll go back to where it was when I created the circle. Now I need to click on position. I need to get this bad boy in the position where I want it. So you can drag these over to the position. If you know the position where you want it at, like I do because I've already done this, then I just type it in. Now for me, or for some of you, this might be just fine. You know, for me, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Move the size up a little bit. The width and the height for myself. And that looks a lot better for me. I'm also going to go to video. I'm going to go to transparency. Now transparency, the reason why I'm going to use transparency is because it's kind of just like a black dot. But if you want to you can make it a little bit see-through where you get a little glimpse of, well, that is a person behind there, but what does he look like? So I'm going to move mine to three. It's a lot more darker, but you can still get the kind of silhouette of the man's face behind the circle a little bit. You choose whatever number you want to choose for you. Now I'm going to move this back, scrubber back to the beginning because I want to make sure that this is where I want it at the beginning before I activate keyframes. So I'm going to activate keyframes now. 
You got to do all this before you activate the keyframe so you get your first keyframe locked in. Make sure your scrubber is all the way at the beginning. If I move this scrubber back to the beginning and I should have moved the dot somewhere, then I change my settings so that they match up. Now I'm going to activate keyframes. Now to active, I could step through one frame at a time if I want to. Depending on how much movement your talent has, I'd probably step through one frame at a time if they move a lot, if their head's moving a lot. This guy's head's not moving a lot, so I'm just going to drag the scrubber slowly to the next position that I want to move it. I see he's got a little bit of ear showing on there, so I'm going to move the horizontal over to the left a little bit. And now you see it creates a new keyframe, so it's locked in. Now I'm going to move the scrubber forward some more. I don't like it. He's moving over too much, so I'm going to move this over again for the horizontal. Where I like it. And now you see another keyframe created. So I'm going to move the scrubber forward. I'm going to keep doing this all the way through the video. Now, if your person's not moving a lot, like this guy, you're probably not going to need a bunch of keyframes. Like right here in this section, he's hardly even moving. That's why I chose this video. Make it easy on me. And then kind of show you guys each little step. Because if I was doing like a whole bunch of keyframes for a lot of movement, I would not be showing y'all every little step. Believe me. It takes too damn long. And I'm not trying to waste your time and mine. So as you can see, as I move the scrubber along, I keep moving the keyframes. And that's it. I'm not going to go all the way through. It's pretty much the gist of it. You get the idea. You're not stupid. I'm moving on. So now I'm going to go here to this picture. And I'm going to click the uh, jump backward so it goes to the beginning of the picture. And on this picture, you see some words or letters across the screen, ABC. Some little kid did his ABCs. Very proud of you, kid. Glad you know your ABCs. But I'm going to get rid of them. So I'm going to right-click on this clip. And I'm going to go straight to Open Effects Editor on this one. I'm going to go to Camera. And I'm going to go to Blur. Now, I'm going to go to no preset, and you'll see everything gets a little blurry, okay? I don't want everything to be a little blurry, so I need to change the blur region and the blur amount. For the blur amount, I'm going to go with 40 on this, and you'll see as I type in my parameters, this blur starts jumping up, and now you can really see the blur. But like I said, I don't want the whole thing blurry. So I'm going to change my blur region. So you can drag these over how far you want. Right, left, top, bottom, all that good stuff. I know where I want these to be, so I'm just going to type in my parameters that I already have chosen earlier. And now you'll see that just the section that I chose is blurred out, nothing else. So this is good for stuff like, you know, a stationary sign or maybe a car that's just sitting there and not moving. This is what I would probably say you can use for those. It's really easy to do on those. You can, you know, just place your blur where you need it. Click OK. And now you got a nice looking little blur where you can't read the words. In. If you need more blur, step it up past 40 like I did. And that's it. Es todo mis amigos. How to do a sensor blur in Avid Studio.